Hello? If you're watching this video, it means you've been in a situation like this when you accidentally press something and you don't know where everything went. And now I'm going to talk about the main mistakes beginners make and how to fix it. And the first mistake is when you accidentally press something and you end up with a screen like this. It's like all the main panels are closing and you don't know what you pressed. And to fix this, you just need to press this little button. It's in the upper left corner of the keyboard. And that's it. After that, everything goes back to normal. The second very common mistake is when you see a screen like this and you don't know what to do. You accidentally press something and really don't worry about it. This can also be easily fixed with one click. Just click here and you can either turn on adaptive resolution or just turn it off. And everything goes back to normal. The next situation, for example, is when I'm working on something and I accidentally closed this panel or I don't know, moved it here, moved this one there and pushed this one all the way over here and everything got messed up. It's uncomfortable to work like this. I don't understand what's happening and it takes a long time to get everything back to normal. There is also a great wonderful solution for this. You can just press the window button, but first set up your workspace and save it. I already have it saved and I can just, if something happened to me, I can just press reset and that's it. And everything goes back to normal, to the original look that I saved for myself and the workspace where I feel comfortable working. Another very common problem for beginners is double clicking. Here for example I have some footage and I accidentally double clicked on it. But when I want to do something there, I don't know. Increase the scale, change the position and nothing changes. And this just opened our own layer in a new tab. And this is actually meant for tracking and all sorts of manipulations. And how do we go back and see what's happening with our layer? Just close this tab up here. And we can see that all the actions we've taken are still happening. Another problem for beginners is having caps lock on. Caps lock. And you might not see anything. And here it says refresh disable. You just need to press the caps lock button and everything goes back to normal mode. Another very common problem is when we want to draw a mask on a shape. So for example, I select any shape, choose the pen tool and I want to draw a mask. But we are drawing a shape. What could be the problem? And the problem is that up here, you need to switch to mask mode. And after that, we can start drawing the mask. And the last very common problem for today, it might be a bit harder to understand, but duplicating this text composition on the timeline is not the same as duplicating it in our main project. So if we want to have an additional composition of the same text, we need to not just duplicate it here. Because look, for example, if I change the text here to, let's say, I don't know, hypothetically speaking, any other text, perhaps to something else entirely, considering the possibility, it will, which means ultimately leading to changes across both compositions. But if we specifically take this composition, find it in the source of our project here, we can duplicate it with Ctrl D. After that, we select this composition, press ALT or Option, drag it, and then this composition becomes unique. And here, for example, we have a situation where we will now change it slightly, and that's it. For us, these two compositions, which we have carefully crafted and developed over time, are already becoming unique in their own special way. This uniqueness is due to the intricate details and the thoughtful process involved in their creation, and we can change the text in each one separately. That's all from me. If you made such mistakes, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.